In systems biology, what we try to do is combine large data sets and many different, often quantitative observations to gain insight into healthy biology as well as in disease. And for students, I think this is very exciting because it offers the opportunity not only to learn biological techniques, biological disciplines such as genetics and biochemistry, but to combine that with computational modeling, statistics, physics and so on to gain both broad insights into biological processes and disease as well as to go deep into different mechanisms and therapeutic interventions. We need to understand biology and the organizing principles behind biology not just by focusing on a single gene or a single organism or a single model system. We're trying to understand the very basic foundations of biological systems or the principle in which and they all operate in, and this department is really the perfect place to do that. I use genomic approaches to understand uh, the metabolic interactions that happen in microbial communities. My goal is to try to understand the design principles that underlie uh, cross-feeding interactions uh, in microbial communities, and then to test these principles by assembling uh, synthetic communities in the lab. The Systems Biology Department is truly a, a very collaborative and friendly environment. Uh, as you see, it's an open space where we can share and learn from every, everybody's work. And also, we are part of a very fun and supportive environment. We are exposed to a lot of different uh, experimental strategies. And uh, whenever we're trying to set up new things, we can always walk across the benches and ask uh, for help even for people that are not in our same lab. I have learned to set up high throughput experiments, genetic screens, uh, next sequencing uh, protocols, and also I acquired the computational skills that allow me to uh, perform data analysis. I study the complex interactions between bacteria, drugs, and hosts. Specifically, I'm interested in the microbiome and how it interacts with chemotherapy drugs and how that might impact uh, patient treatment. The systems biology department is very interdisciplinary and diverse in the research that you find here. There's a bunch of different scientists that have a vast amount of knowledge in different model organisms or experimental techniques or computational techniques. And so there's always someone that you can find that you can go to to ask for help or questions or advice in the research that you're doing in your own lab. I now can you know, work to build different computational pipelines to. Uh, analyze high throughput experiments and I've increased the different model organisms that I've worked with from bacteria to mice to C. elegans. We're very excited to transfer from a program to a department as we now have a critical mass both in the number of faculty as well as in the breadth of the science that we do.